How's it going? This is Hoyman, and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Hermione Granger figure. So this is the front of the packaging. Overall, the packaging itself is very nice looking, has a very premium feel to it. The texture of it is very soft and textury, and just overall looks really nice. You have all the botanical designs, and overall it's just a very nice packaging. Very nice colours. And again, this feels very premium. So for the front, you have a nice window display to see the figure and all the accessories inside. Moving on to the side, nice illustration of the figure. On the other side. And then the top, you can see a bit more into the figure. And then the bottom. And then the back, which has various poses and shows what the figure comes with. And then you have some Japanese legal stuff down bottom. And to open the box, you just simply slide open the side flap. And then you pull out the figure. Like so. So firstly, you do get some instructions just showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. Pretty self-explanatory. And then to open the figure, you just simply lift off the front cover. And there we have the figure all together with its accessories. So here's the actual figure itself. And this figure actually utilizes the 3D painting method. So the likeness to the actual actor is very accurate. And seeing her in person it just looks just like the actor, looks like she came straight out of the show. Just very nice overall. And you can see how her hair is all individually sculpted for the strands of her hair. And then there's a nice wash to bring out all the texture and detail. Just looks very nice overall. And then the body itself, it's a simple sculpt, but for the most part, it's very nice and very clean. You can see all the folds in the robe and the sleeves. It just looks pretty realistic. And then moving down to a skirt, you can see all the stripes and the folds. And down to her socks and shoes, just very nice sculpt work all around. And then there's very little paintwork, but what is there is very clean. So it's mainly on the tie, the yellow stripe and the Gryffindor symbol is printed on. So overall it looks very nice and clean. So for articulation, the neck is on a double ball joint. So she can look down or at that much. And the, these parts of her hair are the softer material. So it doesn't really get in the way of articulation too much. And then it's the same for the back of her hair as well, but it's more solid than the front though. So it's going to stick up a bit when she looks fully down. And then she can look up about that much, but it is hindered because of the hair. And then can tilt her head side to side, can twist. And then the shoulders are on a ball joint, which is connected deep into her torso. And there's a piece that cups around the joint. So you can really move her arm around however you want. And then you can move her arm out to the side. And then bring her forward. But because of the robe, it does make the arm not fully go straight. And that's the same going back as well. And then you can also swivel around that joint. And then she's got single jointed elbows. But there's also a ball joint that's connected deep into her forearm, so you can move that arm just slightly a bit more, but it does expose quite a big gap. And you can twist that as well, but again it does expose a bit of a gap. And then for the wrists, they're on double ball joints, so you can move that however you want. And then for the robe itself, it is a softer material, but it's still hard enough to the point where it restricts most of her articulation and because it's connected up here as well, it really restricts any torso movement. But the torso itself is on a double ball joint, so you can move that forward 
if I like that much. And then you can lean back, but the robe really restricts. And then you can tilt side to side, but again, the robe really restricts. And then the hips are on ball joints and the skirt itself is in two separate parts. And it's also a slightly softer material, but again, because of the robe, pretty much restricts any movement in her legs. So you can bring your leg forward about that much and then about that much behind, not really any if at. And then you can bring your leg out about that much. So, and then you can swivel her thigh as well, but it's pretty restricting. And then she does have double jointed knees. But because of the robe, it does restrict it a bit. And then she's got the hinged ankle, so you can bring his foot back that much, go forward that much. So there's a lot of range of motion there. And then you can swivel as well as twist. And that's it for articulation. So she has most of a regular figure arts figure articulation. You'd expect that she would have, but because of her really tight robe, it does pretty much restrict any movement in her lower and her body. So the only movement you're really going to get is from her head and her arms. So for the most part, she is going to be like a cone very much and very static in the poses. But there, that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. So for accessories, she comes with a default face, which, like I already said, looks really accurate. You can see how the eyes and stuff are painted. Just looks very realistic. And she also comes with a smiling face. And again, it's very accurate to the actual actor. Then she comes with a pair of open hands come on the default packaging and then she comes with two hands hold her wand these are nicely sculpted but I do feel that they don't really hold the wand all that well which I can show in a bit she comes with two open hands to hold items and then a pair of hands to hold her books and then she does come with her wand which is nicely sculpted, but unfortunately on mine, there is quite a bit of a paint bleed. But other than that, it looks pretty nice overall. And what I mentioned earlier before is that she, the hand isn't really able to hold the wand that well. So it's, it's literally just resting on her hand, but uh, it's not really that secure overall. But I guess overall it does work. She also comes with a feather, which is nicely sculpted. You can see all the texturing inside. But I do feel that it would have been nice if there was something to hold up the feather. Like maybe they could have added like a little hole here or something to hold it up. But other than that, it's a very nice looking feather overall. And she comes with a handbag. Nicely sculpted. And then the handle itself is a bit of a softer material as well. And she also comes with the Philosopher's Stone. So it's very small, but it looks very nice overall. The whole piece is a translucent red. So it's definitely very eye catching. And then finally she comes with a book. Nice detailing. The pages inside are painted. So my final thoughts are, if you're a huge fan of this character or the show itself, then I highly recommend this figure. But because of the robe and that it re mostly restricts any articulation, apart from the arms and her head, she is mainly going to be very static in her poses. But if you don't mind that, then it has a very nice sculpt, nice paintwork, and very accurate to the actor herself. And again, if you're a fan, then I highly recommend this figure. That's my review. Thank you for watching, and enjoy some pictures. Mm -hmm.